I grew up in a community that was very anti-sign language, and so even though I was deaf and I really can't hear very much, I was raised in a hearing environment to read lips and all of that. And then when I went off to college, I just said, well, what makes me happy? And I was just happiest in the theater, and so that was the direction I decided to follow along. The biggest obstacle was just finding that, finding that um, confidence in myself to be able to do what a lot of people told me I couldn't. And even in this show especially, it's really like a team and I wouldn't be able to succeed without the rest of the actors helping me and lifting me up to get to the level where we are at. We've known each other for like almost a year now. We have that, that chemistry and that background and that knowledge. Okay, we know that we need to look at Richard when we're saying a line, so we make sure to give it to it, or they're backstage. Okay, Richard, it's your time to go on. Ready? Go. I memorized the entire script. I'm just reciting the lines in my head, so it comes like a sort of like a closed captioning. There's little scenes in there where there's a radio playing that's telling you the score of a baseball game, and um, Lane, who plays flute, always just makes sure to turn to me like after the game, and he explains to me like what happened. <laughs> This play is a world where everyone's on the same level as everyone else. The best feeling I had was when I was doing short Shakespeare with someone in stream in the spring. They brought in um, a school for the deaf, Illinois School for the Deaf, and I was so nervous. Growing up, I did not have that opportunity to see people like me. I hope that they would be able to see me and see there's someone on stage that's a little like me. He's a little deaf. He has that deaf accent. Another prologue must have. Snow is not alive. And I got through the entire show and we had a meet and greet with all the audience members. And it was just like this wall of people just from that school just came like running towards me. And I just felt so, it was, I just felt so happy and so invigorated creativity. Like, I'm so glad that they were able to see that. I don't consider myself special by any means. I'm just a guy who happens to be deaf that is basically living his dream, acting in Chicago Shakespeare Theater. But I know that when they saw me, they saw someone that, hey, maybe this is some, something I can do in the future. And I, really, I feel like the great benefit of theater is to create change internally, to change people's minds.